There's a story that's been hitting all of the regular sites that point out how this country is falling apart, it's Biden's fault, the border is open, it's not fair, boo-hoo, and all that crap. Alright, mea culpa, I admit that sometimes I do that too. It's so easy to point out how everything is crazy and it's getting worse every day. But the story that was big the last few days, it's about all of the migrants that are being bussed from the southern border towns of Arizona and Texas. And they're dropping these migrants in Washington, D.C. and New York City. So Washington, D.C. is completely overwhelmed. They got a few buses and oh no, we need the National Guard. Give me a break. Now, New York City got a few buses and they completely freaked out. And basically, eminent domained a few hotels to hold the migrants. Now, did they pick a Motel 6 by the highway? Maybe a La Quinta near the airport? No. You know better than that by now. They picked a luxury hotel in the heart of Manhattan with beautiful views of the city and easy walking distance to Broadway. This hotel has rooms that range from $400 to $700 a night with all the amenities you would expect from a luxury hotel at that price range. Now my first gut reaction was to call this out as being unfair and how dare they put these criminals into luxury at the expense of working people that are paying taxes, blah, blah, blah. Now, everyone has said that for years, and it's just not working. The people who live there will come out with signs saying, no human is illegal, and they want more of them. Whatever. You can't fight this level of stupidity. So, I changed plan and came up with a new strategy. Join them. Go to the bus station near Port Authority. Look for the green bus with Texas plates. The cops will tell you which one it is, according to a Blaze reporter. I'll put a link to that one below as well. Then pretend to join the crowd and demand a free hotel room. And they, they might put you up for a few weeks, maybe months. I mean, it's several months till midterm elections, and they can't really upset the apple cart. Listen, if you are staying in New York City in a crappy fifth floor walk up and barely getting by, working 60 hours a week, maybe two jobs, if you pretend to be a migrant, you'll get free hotel rooms, free food, hot showers. That hotel has a gym, a pool, continental breakfast. Take it. Take everything you can get. What's the worst that can happen? They say, no. So what? You've lost nothing. And you've forced them to say that they treat illegal invaders better than tax-paying residents. I want that headline. So you really can't lose. The only way to beat this system is to play according to their rules. They have no rules. Just take, then take some more. It's time to start being greedy. If you live in New York City, go ahead and start taking. There are free hotel rooms just waiting for you. Break the system. Everything is on the table now. We are already at war. They are just forcing you to pay for it. You may have noticed, if you've seen a few of my videos, I almost never ask you to subscribe and like. I think that's cringe and cheap. I also think that anyone listening to this has enough brains to subscribe if you like this and you want to see more. So don't let me down. Be smart. Do the thing that costs nothing but helps me a lot. Thanks.